Hi everyone, it's Donna again. I want to share a mini with you. This is a trade mini of a different kind. It's a mini that I should have had to my partner at the end of March, which shows you how behind I am with a lot of things at the moment. Thankfully, I had the most supportive, understanding, kind partner you could ask for in Claire. She's been really, really supportive and really understanding of how long this has taken and I really do appreciate that Claire. It's meant a lot to me that you've been so kind. Uh, the mini is for the Scratchville swap that's run by Felicia and the theme for March was a recipe mini. So this is the one I've made. Um, I have to admit that being new to minis, although I've crafted for years, I mean it's it's a lot of years. I've always crafted, but paper crafting's probably been about 15 years. I've only really started minis properly this last year. I used to teach a sort of type of mini, but they weren't necessarily always for photos. They were for quotes and sentiments rather than just photos. But actual minis for photos, I've only really started this year. Before that, I did 12 by 12 scrapbook pages. So I'm still new to minis, and I've be honest I found this one very challenging and very difficult so and then with the health issues on top that have stopped me having it done on time it's been a real challenge and I will be completely honest and say that normally I would not send out a mini unless I'm 100% happy with it or should I say 90% happy with it I'm never 100% happy with it so this time one is going out that I am not 90% happy with. The only reason is I want Claire to finally have something but I'm not, I don't know whether it's health and things, the way I'm feeling, but I'm not really that inclined to craft at the moment. Um, I just don't feel like it. I just don't feel well enough to and my creative block seems to be stuck. My creativity seems to have flown away on an extended vacation and doesn't want to come back. So I find it really difficult. So Claire, if you don't like it, please let me know. And as soon as I feel like my creativity's come back, I'll try and make you another one. But I wanted you to have something for now. So I'm really sorry, sweetheart, if you don't like it. But please be honest and let me know. Okay? Promise? Let me know if you don't like it. And I'll do my best to try and make something else for you as soon as everything's okay. Anyway, let's get on with the mini because otherwise my 10 minutes will be up just explaining to Claire what's going on. As I said, the theme was a recipe one, which I found quite difficult, but it was quite funny. Um, Claire and I came up with the same idea of doing it in this format, where it stands up off the ground, which is quite comical. And I will film hers to show you, because it's absolutely beautiful, the one she sent me. So it's all chipboard, covered with cardstock, and then it's Mod Podge. And as you know from previous videos, the only Mod Podge I own is the Sparkle one still. I have so many bottles of it, it's really silly to go and buy more just to get one without sparkling so I'll use what I've got and then for the cover I've used a saying from a Teresa Collins paper that I found and then some buttons that my daughters helped me find when we were out shopping one day so that's our front cover and then we've just obviously got the foo-foo bits at the top but not too much because of it being a recipe mini and then inside this is the first section and this is the starters. I got some stamps that gave me the categories which is really helpful and the papers are Farmer's Market. I'm trying to think what company they are and I really can't remember. I'll try and put it in the details under the video if I can find the papers and find a little saying on them. I know it's Farmer's Market but the brand I can't think at the moment. So I've done a photo map on every one of these section starters so she's got somewhere to put photos of her and her little one if they work in the kitchen together and then just decoration with buttons and then behind each photo mat I've put a tag cut out of coordinating paper that I've used on the back here so she's got somewhere to put memories of her and her little one and then just a border across so that's that page and it's all distressed and inked and everything which you know for now I like doing and then the top of every one, I'm going to just see if I can bend this down to show you. The top of each one's been left completely plain so she can do whatever she wants with it. If she wants to put a contents of this section so she knows what recipe she's got in there, she can do whatever she wants. I'm going to send her a few papers so she can 
do what she likes with those sections. And then in each section there are some Teresa Collins recipe cards of different varieties. My fingers don't want to work. So there's those. And then we go on to the next category, which is the main dishes. So again we have another mount and another tag, which again has the adrenaline lines on the back ready. And this time my daughter's helped me choose buttons that are for main dishes. So we've got our hot dog and we've got our taco and we've got our beef burger and then we've just got some little bits of border along the edge. I have to say I have to thank my girls for helping me with this. It would never have got done without their their help. So thanks girls. And again, more of the recipe cards. And then this paper already came looking like this and I really loved this one because it was really handy the way it was almost done as a photo map. So all we do was add buttons to that and distress the edges and you can see we've really made it dirty looking, which is a bit bad but I don't mind. And then the more recipe cards. Then we get on to the family favourites. And we have a barbecue and again our tag. And then we're on to the drinks section. So we've got a little Coke bottle, our milkshake and our beer for the adults. And again, the tag that matches the papers that I've used in the background. And then Claire said to me her favourite things are desserts. So I've done a section. There's one for sweets and there's also one for baked goods. So she's got two kind of sweet areas. And this is baked goods. and got the tag there which I've just realised I've forgotten to put a pull on so I should have to put some fibery things on that and then we've got a little sign that says baked with love we've got a little cookie a little cupcake and then again our little cards so that's the mini as I say it's not the best I've ever made and I apologise for that but I really wanted to get it done I didn't want her waiting any longer so I'd love to know what you think. I'm not expecting any real great comments of how brilliant it is because I know it's not and I apologise for that Claire and as I say if you're really not happy please be honest with me and tell me and I will as soon as I can feel like it I'll make you something else even if it's not another recipe menu if you want something else doing for you and your family then I'll do my best but I just wanted to share this with you and say hi to everyone and thanks for all the sweet comments and well wishes with the health and that. It, it means a lot when you take the time to send me a little message saying how you doing, are you okay? I really appreciate that so thank you very much. So anyway, that's the many I wanted to share with you and I'll be back soon. I've got a couple of other things to show you so I'll be back soon with some more videos. Until then, take care everyone. Bye!